So what uh, um, Sharp did was to say the following. We know that uh, the marginal uh, utility of, of an asset in our portfolio is equal to the expected return minus its contribution to the volatility of the portfolio. And this A is your coefficient of, of risk preferences, or risk aversion. Uh, this covariance with the market is all that matters because, remember, previously we noted that all that matters for a large portfolio is the covariance with the portfolio. Uh, now, this marginal um, uh, utility for every asset has to be the same because if you're optimizing the marginal uh, return for every uh, element in a portfolio has to be the same. That's a principle of maximization. Uh, if that isn't obvious to you, I don't know. Um, you have to go elsewhere, but the idea is if, if the marginal utility of investing more in one asset is, is greater than others, you would just do more of it. So this is an equilibrium condition. It has to be true for every, every asset. Um, now, interestingly, we know the risk-free rate has a volatility of zero. It has a covariance of zero, too. Uh, that follows from having volatility of zero. So we know that, the, that this K is equal to our F, which is great because we don't know what K is otherwise. So now we nailed down one of these unobserved uh, variables. Now, we can also say, hey, what about the market? The expected return on the market equals this uh, thing. Now, the covariance of the market with itself is really just the variance of the market. So that allows us to nail down A, which is great because we don't observe A. So, you know, you just do algebra and you can isolate A and get A is equal to the expected return on the market minus the risk-free rate, known as the equity risk premium, and divided by the variance of the market. Um, so if we rearrange and plug in, you know, for A here and uh, put that here, so we replace A with this thing here, and we replace K with this thing here, now we have a bunch of things we can observe. This is great. We do a little rearranging, put this uh, covariance over the variance of the market, and uh, move stuff around, and we get this, the expected return on some asset I is equal to the risk-free rate plus this ratio of the covariance over the variance times the equity risk premium. Now, this ratio of, of covariance over the variance is a beta. It's uh, mathematically, it's it's like the uh, coefficient you get in ordinary least squares regression. This is the capital asset pricing model. This is the security market line. Um, this is the, uh, you know, basically how we got the Nobel Prize here in six lines. So it's really not that complicated uh, once you have Tobin and Markowitz. It's pretty straightforward, which is why four people uh, figured it out uh, about the same time independently. Uh, looking at this on a line, you see the security market line, this this thing here, which I just went over, uh, is this line from the risk-free rate, and it has this, goes up, 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 as the beta. We replace standard deviation now with beta. And so the expected return is linear in beta and increasing. So it's increasing at this rate here. Um, this is the uh, price of risk, the expected return on the market minus the risk-free rate.